My name is Alexa Yap and I will be applying for the Art Center Entertainment Design Track and Concept for Fall 2021. The piece I will be discussing is one of my personal works that I created prior to the creation of my portfolio and can be found on screen 31 of the Art Center Final Portfolio PDF on Slider. Cthulhu's Bride is a 29.7 by 42 centimeter digital illustration painted and edited on the software Photoshop in 2020 of February. I created this piece for my IB Visual Arts higher level class at Brent International School Manila with the intention of creating something that both looked hauntingly beautiful yet creepy. Cosmic horror has always been one of my favorite genres of any form of media, be it literature or film. Despite this, I had rarely seen any piece of artwork that held the concept of cosmicism within its composition. For my process, I first looked at images online that believed the overall aesthetic of the piece and used it as a reference for what I wanted Cthulhu's Bride to look like. The process began with the woman's face starting from afar, but gradually became closer and closer to the camera to ensure that the audience could see the details of her face. Her face was based on Corin Hardy's nun character from his 2018 horror film, The Nun, and Margaret Keane's Kiki Lisa from 1986. Since I can consider myself comfortable when creating digital illustrations, I found that the process for creating my piece Cthulhu's Bride was very streamlined and straightforward. I am very pleased with how the face turned out because it was rendered very realistically yet retained its aura of creepiness within the eyes. Despite how enlarged the eyes are, they are still rendered to a degree of realism. Other areas of the canvas include the nose and mouth. More impressively, the shading and highlights also appear to be believable and therefore satisfied my intentions. Perhaps the only areas that could have worked to render a bit more would be the tentacles surrounding the face. You could argue that the forehead could have been rendered better because of how patchy it appears to be. However, I am satisfied with the patchiness because it gives the face more texture and sty is stylistically more interesting to look at. If I truly wanted to improve the area in a sense that it was rendered better, then I could simply use the smudge tool and make it look smooth, but also more boring in my opinion.